And there's lots happening and developing in New York at the UN General Assembly. And as promised earlier, we are now joined live by RT's Anissa Nawi, who is in New York, and she will tell us more about the long-anticipated draft resolution on Syria. Uh, Anissa, what are we expecting from the UN Security Council right now? Well, the U.N. Security Council is meeting to discuss this latest resolution on Syria. In fact, we're hearing that we could have a vote as early as Saturday if they hear and get a go-ahead from the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons. Now, the five permanent members of the U.N. Security Council reached an agreement on Thursday over the wording of binding and enforceable text to eliminate Syria's stockpiles of chemical weapons. The resolution doesn't allow for immediate Chapter 7 action of the U.N. Charter, which, of course, allows for military military and non-military action sanctions in case of non-compliance, but it would need to be reviewed and put to a vote if that becomes the case. Here's Russia's Foreign Minister, Sergei Lavrov. The resolution that will be submitted to other UN Security Council members conforms to the Geneva Agreement on the destruction of Syria's chemical weapons. It does not provide for any Chapter 7 actions. The resolution includes an agreement that was reached in Geneva stating that the Security Council can go back to reviewing the resolution only in the case of a breach of its proceedings by any of the sides, including the opposition, or in the case of chemical weapons use by any side. If that happens, the Council can act on those cases, under Chapter 7 as well, but only in accordance of the degree of that violation and if it is 100 percent proved. So like the foreign minister mentioned, the draft resolution backs the agreement reached in Geneva between the U.S. and Russia regarding Syria's commitment to place its chemical weapons stockpile under international control. If there is any violation by any part, as the resolution uh, calls on the opposition to assist in the disarmament process as well, this was an important point for Russia. And really, this is a major breakthrough when you think about how less than a month ago it looked like Russia and the U.S. would never agree and Obama was ready to bomb Damascus. All right, RT's Anissi Nawi in the center of it all as things are rapidly developing there in New York. Thanks for being with us here on RT.